Hello travel enthusiasts, welcome to our new video. Today we're setting off on an exciting virtual journey. Our destination? The vibrant and historic city of Brussels. Nestled in the heart of Europe, this Belgian gem is brimming with fascinating architecture, mouth-watering cuisine, and a rich tapestry of culture and history waiting to be unraveled. In this video, we'll unveil our top 10 picks for things to do in Brussels. From iconic landmarks to hidden treasures, prepare to be swept off your feet by the charm of this captivating city. If you're as captivated by the world's wonders and hidden gems as we are, we warmly invite you to subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest travel adventures. So, without further ado, embark on this virtual journey to Brussels with us. Starting off our list at number 10, we have the Grand Place. This historic square is the beating heart of Brussels, pulsating with life and brimming with architectural splendor. The Grand Place is a testament to the city's rich past, with its origins dating back to the 12th century. It's not just a feast for the eyes, though. The Grand Place is a hub of cultural activity. Throughout the year, the square hosts a myriad of events, from enchanting flower carpet displays to bustling Christmas markets and even lively music concerts. Each event transforms the Grand Place into a vibrant spectacle, adding a new layer to its already multifaceted charm. The buildings themselves are a sight to behold, with ornate facades that feature a blend of architectural styles, marrying Gothic and Baroque elements in a harmonious ensemble. The Grand Place truly is a living, breathing piece of history. A visit to Brussels is incomplete without a stop at the Grand Place. Coming in at number three, your taste buds are in for a treat with Belgian waffles. Now Brussels is not just about the architecture and art, it's also a city that knows how to satisfy your palate. Among the culinary delights that Belgium is famous for, their waffles stand out. Slightly crispy on the outside, soft and fluffy on the inside, these waffles are a dream come true for anyone with a sweet tooth. You'll find them all over Brussels, served hot from street stalls or in cozy cafes. They come in two main types, the Brussels waffle, rectangle in shape and light as air, and the liege waffle, which is denser, sweeter, and has a distinctive round shape. Top them with a dusting of powdered sugar, a drizzle of chocolate sauce, fresh fruits or even whipped cream, and voila, a culinary masterpiece. A bite of a Belgian waffle is a bite of heaven. At number eight, we recommend exploring the Atomium. Standing at a staggering 102 meters tall, this iconic Brussels structure was originally constructed for the 1958 Brussels World's Fair. The Atomium symbolizes the dawn of the atomic age and the peaceful use of atomic energy. The structure represents an elementary iron crystal enlarged 165 billion times, with its nine interconnected spheres creating an illusion of floating in air. Inside, you'll find a wealth of exhibitions and a restaurant with panoramic views of the city. The Atomium isn't just a marvel of mid-century architecture, it's a testament to the optimism and forward thinking of the era. It's the perfect blend of science, art and history, all wrapped up in one shiny metallic package. Whether you're an architecture enthusiast, a history buff, or just someone looking for an unforgettable view, the Atomium has something for everyone. The Atomium is truly a marvel of architecture. At number seven, art lovers will enjoy the Royal Museums of Fine Arts. Tucked away in the heart of Brussels, this majestic museum complex is a haven for those with an appreciation for the visual arts. With an expansive collection spanning over six centuries, the Royal Museums of Fine Arts offers a rich exploration of artistic expression. The museum's collections are a diverse mix of ancient and modern art, showcasing a splendid array of masterpieces from renowned artists such as Rubens, Bruegel, and Van Dyck. You'll also be delighted to discover the museum's modern art section, which houses a fascinating variety of avant-garde works from the 20th century. The museum also hosts a dynamic range of temporary exhibitions, providing fresh perspectives and a constant influx of new works to explore. These exhibitions often feature contemporary artists, offering a wonderful blend of the old and new. For art enthusiasts, this museum is a treasure trove. At number six, take a leisurely stroll around Mont des Arts. As you saunter through this picturesque locale, you'll understand why it's aptly named Hill of the Arts. 
This cultural hub in the heart of Brussels is a feast for the senses, offering a kaleidoscope of the city's rich past and vibrant present. Breathe in the serenity of beautifully manicured gardens, a stark contrast to the bustling city life just a stone's throw away. The panorama from atop the hill is breathtaking, presenting a stunning view of the Brussels cityscape, a visual treat that is hard to forget. In its vicinity, you'll find a cluster of renowned museums and galleries, each a treasure trove of art and history. The Royal Library of Belgium, the Musical Instruments Museum, and the Magritte Museum are among the prominent attractions that keep culture vultures coming back for more. Mont des Arts offers a perfect blend of nature and culture. So why wait? Lace up those walking shoes and set off on an adventure that promises to be a feast for the eyes and the soul. Coming in at number five, we suggest exploring Mini Europe. Nestled at the foot of the Atomium, Mini Europe is much more than just a park. It's a voyage, a journey through time and space, where you can traverse the breadth of our beautiful continent in a matter of hours. Imagine strolling from the romantic ambience of the Venetian gondolas to the vibrant heartbeat of London's Big Ben, then on to the majesty of Berlin's Brandenburg Gate. Each monument is recreated with meticulous detail at a scale of 1 to 25. But it's not just about the sights. Mini Europe is a sensory delight, with the sounds of each country filling your ears, and activities that let you engage with history in a hands-on way. This place is more than a collection of miniatures. It's a celebration of Europe's rich tapestry of culture, history and architecture. Mini Europe is a fun and educational experience for all ages. At number four, for the comic book enthusiasts out there, we recommend the Comic Strip Centre. Located in the heart of Brussels, this centre is a testament to Belgium's rich history and love for comic strips. Housed in a stunning Art Nouveau building designed by Victor Horta, the Comic Strip Centre is a mecca for all things related to the ninth art. From Tintin to the Smurfs, the center showcases an impressive collection of original drawings, unique comic strip murals, and playful exhibits. It's not just about looking, though. You can immerse yourself in the creative process behind these beloved characters and stories, and even discover new talents in the dedicated contemporary space. What makes the comic strip center a must-visit is its ability to transport visitors of all ages into the whimsical world of comic strips, while highlighting their cultural significance and impact. This place is a paradise for comic book lovers. Coming in at number three, when in Brussels, one must try Belgian beer. The world of Belgian beer is as diverse as the country itself, with over a thousand different varieties, each with its own distinct taste, texture, and aroma. From the strong, dark ales of the Trappist monasteries to the light, fruity flavors of the Lambics, there's a brew for every palate. Make sure to visit one of the many beer cafes scattered throughout the city, such as Delirium Cafe, known for its record-breaking selection, or Moda Lambic, a haven for craft beer enthusiasts. These places offer the perfect opportunity to immerse yourself in the Belgian beer culture with knowledgeable staff who can guide you through your tasting journey. Remember, Belgian beer is not just a drink, it's an experience. Each sip is a tribute to the craftsmanship, tradition, and passion that goes into its creation. Belgian beer is a celebration of the country's brewing tradition. At number two, a quirky but iconic attraction, the Mannequin Peas. This cheeky statue, located in the heart of Brussels, has been charming visitors for centuries. The Mannequin Peas, or Little Pissing Man in Dutch, is a small bronze sculpture that depicts a young boy in the middle of, well, you can probably guess. The statue dates back to the early 17th century and has become an emblem of the rebellious spirit of the city. You'll often find him dressed in one of his nearly 1,000 outfits, which range from traditional costumes to more humorous get-ups. The legend behind the mannequin piss varies, but one popular story tells of a little boy saving the city by extinguishing a fire with his unique method. Whatever the true story may be, the mannequin piss is a testament to Brussels' sense of humor and its welcoming, unconventional charm. It might be small, but Mannequin Piss holds a big place in the hearts of the people of Brussels. And finally, at number one, we recommend exploring the vibrant Brussels nightlife. This city truly comes alive when the sun sets. The streets, illuminated by the warm glow of street lamps and neon signs, buzz with energy, 
as locals and tourists alike flock to the numerous bars, clubs and restaurants spread across the city. One of the best areas to experience this is the St. Jerry district. Known for its lively atmosphere, here you'll find a mix of trendy bars and traditional Belgian pubs. It's a place where you can sip on a locally brewed beer while soaking in the rich history that surrounds you. If you're more into dancing, head over to the Matonga district. The pulsating rhythm of the music is infectious, and you'll find yourself moving to the beat in no time. From jazz clubs to techno raves, from cozy pubs to sophisticated wine bars, Brussels nightlife has something for everyone. Brussels at night is a sight to behold. So there you have it, 10 amazing things to do in Brussels. We've journeyed through the historic Grand Place, indulged in the sweetness of Belgian waffles, marveled at the futuristic Atomium, and admired the masterpieces at the Royal Museums of Fine Arts. We've strolled around the beautiful Mont des Arts, explored the miniature wonders of mini Europe, and dove into the world of comics at the Comic Strip Center. And who could forget the taste of Belgian beer or the unique sight of the mannequin piz? Not to mention, we've got a glimpse of the vibrant Brussels nightlife. If you're as captivated by Brussels as we are, don't hesitate to become a part of our community. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to stay updated on our latest adventures. We promise there's a lot more to explore and discover. Thanks for joining us on this virtual tour of Brussels. Stay tuned for more exciting travel content. Until next time, safe travels.